is Asauddin Owaisi, who seems to be now raising questions and objections against the questioning of K. Kavita in uh, the national capital over the Delhi liquor scam case, which has now been investigated both by the CBI and the Enforcement Directorate. So, Asauddin Owaisi of the AIMIM has tweeted, and the tweet on your uh, screen saying that BJP MPs have called for economic boycott of Muslims. They have asked people uh, to to keep weapons at home but Modi government is busy targeting the Telangana chief minister and his family over the leadership in Telangana's inclusive development. Sabisachi with us right now. Sabisachi, how do we look upon it because we've already seen how the attacks have been continuing against the central agencies that the government is misusing them by the opposition party leaders. Well, absolutely. See, Asauddin OSC has hit back at the central government, uh, stating that the BJP MPs have called in for the economic boycott of uh, Muslims and they have asked people to keep weapons in their home. And meanwhile, uh, they are targeting Telangana Chief Minister and his daughter. So time and again, the opposition parties are hitting at the central government over the uh, use of agencies. We had seen that yesterday, uh, around 10 political parties had sent their representatives for the protest that was called in by K. Kavita and all of them have attacked the central government stating that the agencies particularly are targeting the opposition uh, be when whenever there is election in any state before the uh, ministers from the BJP it's the agencies that are reaching and investigating in their state so that's how the oppositions have hit back as we know that a few days back around nine political parties had written letter to the Prime Minister regarding the investigative agencies and now Asaudin OSC has hit back at the central governments uh, uh, against the misuse of uh, investigative agencies CBI and ED and meanwhile the political uh, war of wards is going on whereas BRS had called in for a united front they have asked all the political parties to come in and raise their voice meanwhile what is interesting to see is that the Congress on the other hand has hit back at the BRS stating that this particular uh, politics and this particular protest has been called in by the BRS to divert attention from the liquor uh, pol uh, alleged liquor, uh, 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 liquor scam and that is why the uh, uh, political war of wards is going on and Asauddin OEC has hit back at the central government stating that the central government with the help of agency is targeting KCR and his daughter K. Kavita. Right, because we've been seeing it time and again even when it comes to yesterday's protest and the dharna pradarshan that was seen at Jantar Mantar. Barring the Congress party, Sabya Sachi, multiple leaders from the opposition made their presence felt. Well, absolutely. See, uh, uh, there is an in interesting aspect because first time from the inner circle of KCR, uh, uh, K. Kavita had reached out to the Congress party. Not even once, but Just twice. stay on with us, Abhya Sachi. Mr. Krishna Sagar Rao is with us here on the phone line. Sir, good morning to you. Here is Mr. Rovesi who is also targeting the BJP and the central agencies and calling it as a misuse. Yeah, this statement was due in any case because uh, uh, his friend's uh, party is in trouble and... Uh, he has to come for rescue. Now, he is trying to kind of uh, play a distraction game and change the goalposts. However, he has to also answer the question as to where was he all these days when these acquisitions of liquor policy was happening and uh, why did he not make any statement since last one week when the heat is on uh, his friend's daughter? Hmm. Because, sir, I'm just going to quote from his tweet. He has been saying that the BJP MPs have called for economic boycott of Muslims. They've asked people to keep weapons at home. But the Modi government is busy targeting the Telangana chief minister and his family for his leadership in Telangana's inclusive development, Mr. Rao. See, uh, I don't understand why Prime Minister Modi is involved in a case uh, of uh, economic uh, uh, you know, issue. It's a corruption issue of a government. And uh, the ED and CBI are independent agencies doing their job to drag Prime Minister Narendra Modi into this is, a, as I said, it's a change of uh, goalposts hmm. and they won't succeed at this. This is a self-goal by Asaduddin Rawaisi and he's going uh, ahead of himself when he brings in Prime Minister Narendra Modi into this small case. All right, Mr. Krishna Sagar Rao, thank you very much for joining in at this point. So the BJP has been calling it as shifting of goalposts. Uh, Sabi Sachi, please complete your point because uh, the opposition parties here, the BJP is now questioning Sabi Sachi as to why Mr. Ovesi is reacting today when the day has come as K. Kavita will be questioned by the ED.
Well, absolutely. You see, uh, uh, K. Kavita uh, will be questioned in, uh, by the ED and she would leave her residence at around uh, 10.30, uh, where she will be escorted by her brother, uh, KTR, as well. And since morning, all the uh, ministers from BRS and uh, MPs are coming in at her residence here, and all the party workers who have been gathered uh, uh, in front of her residence since morning have now been called in. So definitely there's a hurdle going on. Uh, there would be a show of strength before K. Kavita uh, leaves uh, for uh, the ED questioning. Meanwhile, what is interesting to see that when she would be uh, uh, confronted with uh, now arrested Arun Ramchandra Pillai, because in the initial uh, remand copy which the ED had presented before the court, the ED had said that Arun Ramchandra Pillai in his statement has said that he used to handle several Benami investment uh, for K. Kavita in the Indo Spirit company. And in this particular company, he hold uh, he hold around 32.5% share and K. Kavita had hold it around 65% share. So these are the details which has come forth from the in, in initial questioning. Around five rounds of questioning had taken place of Arun Ramchandra Pillai. But yesterday, just a day before K. Kavita's uh, questioning by the ED, he has retracted from his statement. He has given an application. So meanwhile, uh, uh, definitely it will be and very interesting uh, to see when K. Kavita will be confronted with Arun Ramchandra Pillai and also with the documents and share uh, share holdings of Indo Spirit, and also the meeting that took place here in the national captain, and how that draft of the excise policy was present in some of the uh, uh, people who were part of the alleged South Group. All right, Sabe Sachi, thanks very much for getting us those updates as we are standing by. K. Kavita shortly will be leaving her residence and will be on route the ED office today, where her questioning today will begin. However, a show of strength that is also expected on part of the BRS leaders and Karakartas who are right now staging a stage outside her residence in the, the national capital. Sabhi thank you very much for the moment. Let's